Uh, I'm feeling about 40%. About 40% is actually going to work out in my favor. What is up? Everybody, welcome to the Burn Down YouTube channel. We are back at it today. And uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about uh, this contraption that we made. We're going to try to pull it out of the... I'm just going to call it a mold for a better lack of term. Uh, out of the mold we made, we tried to fiberglass a chin spoiler for the Malaboom. And gave it the old college try. But I'm going to tell you, before we even start, I'm going to try to pull it out with you guys on camera. So I'm sure it'll be a fiasco. We'll probably have to like time lapse it or something. But uh, I'm feeling about 40%. About 40% is actually going to work out in my favor. Um, so worst case if we're left with something i can work with that's cool like i said i got more resin i got more fiberglass but let's just see what we can do about getting this thing out of here i think i kind of overlap these edges trying to get gravity to be a little more friendly you can see so i'm assuming these edges are junk hopefully we kind of have something facing in the right direction on both sides here and here so we're going to take and kind of cut this part and then cut this part and then i think the goal is because the rest of this stuff's just dry, but I have the mold release on here, and then I'm almost thinking to slice where I welded, cut it there, and cut these tacks off here. I should have done that. I should have folded it over on both sides, kind of like how I did here, so it's easy to get those tacks, and then kind of pull this away. <laughs> Hopefully that's the. This is just. It's. It's all gonna. I don't know. My confidence level is shrinking the more I look at this, so I'm just going to start kind of getting into it because otherwise, um, yeah. So let's wish me luck. Let's try not to make too big of a mess. <laughs> out of there it looks terrible but look at that look look at it I made dude it looks like it's all freaking resin too but look at that thing look at I made we made a freaking resin gutter this is so cool that is cool I tore it up a little bit but man I don't have to let go this shape is still there for the most part that is cool and then I have like the line right here so what we'll do I got into it a little bit but all in all she's ugly but I don't know man look at even the back like I thought those were gonna be roached no oh, that one's a little, a little ugly especially in the bottom when it comes around we're a little thin it's a little thin right there that whole edge is kind of this is the bottom edge use a little love but I will say this for not really knowing what I'm doing I'm sure this thing's gonna get completely destroyed in the comments but you know I don't even care because uh, that was a wing and a prayer I didn't even think the thing I started getting discouraged and then when I saw it letting go I got excited but I'm like this thing's gonna be permanently glass in here forever and um, you know what, let me do this. Let me, uh, we'll throw you guys on a time lapse. I'm gonna get itchy, but I'm gonna cut this down so the shape kind of resembles this. And then uh, we'll probably call it a win. I'll have to take a shower because this stuff, it is very itchy to work with. Like it's way worse than insulation in my opinion. Um, but ultimately I, I'm a pretty happy camper. Let me kind of cut it down and get some shape. I know you guys are looking at this going, dude, that thing is trash. What are you talking about? But let me cut off the stuff that's really not supposed to be there. And then we'll give you guys a look at what it really should look like. Um, I don't even know if there's enough fiberglass to hold this thing. It's more of like a plastic piece, but I don't care. We're excited. Let me put you back on time loss. Let me clean this thing up. We got a fiberglass piece that I made, even if it is just like a full on brick. Awesome. <laughs> is 
Look at that thing, dude. No way I would have thought this thing turned out. I was legitimately like, maybe 40. And then I was struggling and then I got the screwdriver out and then I had a little plastic guy over here trying to pry it out. And so we're a little long on the edge, you can see. So the cool thing is it left a line, right? So I could put a flat sanding block and we can get that. Ultimately though, that's this is the mounting flange and then this is the bottom edge is down here. So let me move that. So all in all to the thing, I, I don't know. I think it's lighter than that, I think. Let me see, lighter than this. Yeah, oh yeah. So that's pretty sweet, man. It is, it's funny, it's like see-through, so it's probably all resin. Like I said, I did two or three layers of uh, crap. So there's a little under edge and it even folds around. So it's real thin over here. These edges are terrible. Uh, and then this pretty much is like not good, but I can layer it up because now that it has structure to it, you just pack the crap in there and do one of these. Uh, I think I'll stuff stuff it. I'll have to scuff all this down real good so we have more adhesion. I don't know, I'm gonna have to ask because I don't know. I think sanding this down is gonna be my best bet to get new adhesion because these edges are pretty kind of roached out. But I'd like to pack them in, <coughs> excuse me, from the back. And I actually like how it rolls. I, I want that look more so than this. And then these corners are nice and thick. Um, yeah, there's a lot of material on those. And then these edges too, this is kind of what I was after. So that way we could take this dude and then round this off. So I'm gonna, not as much this, but just this whole corner Wah, here. And then we'll kind of give her a little round shape on the lip and on the corner. Man, oh man. Okay, I think my excitement, let's uh, Let's put it underneath the boom. I know it looked goofy because it's like tan color. Um, and you guys are probably gonna burst my bubble at how terrible if it's like all resin, the thing's just gonna shatter in a million pieces, but I don't care. Let's put it underneath there and see if the thing even kind of remotely fits like that one used to. Whew, I'm gonna call it a win. That is awesome. Bam, look at that freaking thing, dude. So of course fit meant we still have the bolts in the way. So this will suck it up flush, but look at that. To the edge. We got our little kick on it. Bam, to the edge back here. I've got a finished edge. And like I said, we got bolts and stuff hanging down. But width-wise, you know what? I'd rather be lucky than good any day of the week. I'll just be completely honest with you. I was expecting straight up trash. You know, I was gonna pull it out and get frustrated and then wad that whole thing up throw it away or cut it into pieces and try to pull something out that was just a big steaming pile of dog dew. And instead, we got an almost usable piece. I gotta end this one on a high note, man. I don't know. I'll work on it a bit more. I won't bug you guys. I'll kind of show you as we go. Um, but the body work, the thing, I don't even have uh, filler or anything right now because I lent it to a buddy and then he's the same guy uh, that I gotta dismount and glue my tires with. So he's out of town, so I can't do that. I can't do fill work, but we can do a little more glass. I think I'm gonna put a little more stranded mat and some stuff on it and kind of beef up the edges and things that are basically like razor paper thin on that. But I think we're gonna have something we can work with, boys. And then when we get it all kind of nice, nice, we'll take all those screws and things out and fit it and figure out how we're gonna attach it properly so she could stay on while we're going fast. I don't know, we got lucky. Till next time. I'm out.